Kilgur, if we could send the guards to wherever Whitehall is and then try to get Ryan. Because if they're sneaky as they are, that'd be pretty useful. Can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention put it Cersei past her. and Jamie. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Whitehill, whatever it is. Whitehill, Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Sarah's not really happy with me either. Some things I may have said. Well, if you need Sarah to get you in there, you might as well try, right? It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. She'll let me. That mirror. Sure. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. What's this here? Probably covered with fleas. Yeah, probably. Sand. Just sand. Oh. Well, yeah, I'll take the trowel. Why not? Just in case. That might be useful. Don't know what I expected. Oh, well, this one looks loose. What are you doing here? 
I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. But what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. I'm not sure I believe you. What? Why are you really doing this? I wasn't lying, Garrett. But, well, there is a little reason. sneaky. I want to go with you to the North Grove. Oh. You know I can't stay here. Oh. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. Just keep watch. Make sure no one comes by. I'll see what I can do from in here. Right. Well, I saw that. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. Come on. I can see it. it it's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. Hey. Might as well go. Was close. You two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. It worked, didn't it? Finn, you bastard. What are you doing here? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you oh, think he's going to do when he is? You've run off with potato fucker over here. I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Admit it. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Fine, Move. It's fine. He's... He'll, he'll be fine, I think. I mean, it's true. I already think he's helping anyway, so might as well. There's no turning back now. We're deserters, for sure. 
We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. Or worse. The vows I said here, I meant them. I was a brother. But the Night's Watch betrayed me. And that's on them. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. I'll need every one of them for what I'm about to do. I'll have them here as soon as possible. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Let the maester go, Grim. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick. <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man and who's the cripple. <coughs> Careful, Griff. You really don't want to do that. And why the fuck not? You planning to stop me? <coughs> oh, what's the cripple up to now, eh? Fancy yourself a warrior? You are nothing, Roderick. 
Just give up. Not today. Accept it. You're just embarrassing. What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders! What are you waiting for? Kill anyone that moves! <laughs> you heard him! Stop now! You can't do this! Now then, about humility... Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes. No, this feels so. awesome. <laughs> My father will go straight to Roost Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your whole fucking family. I did warn you, Griff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. I think he wants more. <laughs> Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? Is that it then? We're done here. Clear out. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. This isn't over, Roderick! Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. Yeah, that's probably the best choice right now. Kill those ravens. Oh, that felt good though. I really, I felt real Fuck good. You and your queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher! You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together... We're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? Ugh. I'd never work with a bloody show like you Basically, anyway! what the hell is going on? Yeah, what the hell? You're gonna lecture me too? <laughs> oh, the fuck! Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? I'd see that. <laughs> your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! Just talk to me, Veska! We're done talking. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. Do you want to help? Come on! I'm not going to do that! What are you so afraid of? 
I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals, for that noise, sport, that's he from started, Discord. He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. That's enough drinking for tonight. It'll only make you feel worse. I don't need any more men telling me what to do. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Mirrors. You shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend. But then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. You're on your own. This is important, Sarah. Important enough to get us both sent home. I have to do this. Fine. But you owe me, understand? She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Oh boy, here we go. It's a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. 
Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. <laughs> that subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My That's ears enough. are not we'll delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little lobes. <Stop> <laughs> What? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? I have to take care of a personal matter. Oh, well, don't let us stop you then. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe that. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That but... is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm, is there no longer a demand for it? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but mm. still. Oh, surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Have you heard of the news? I haven't. Let's not give him too much gossip. Yes, I can. Oh, it seems so calm out there. <laughs> 